Yeah, it was um, really incredible for me to realise that I had a choice in how I used my, my mind or my intelligence. Um, that wasn't information that I grew up receiving. I was trained to use my mind or my intelligence to, to try and manage and make sense of my experience, to describe it and from those descriptions to try and work out how to respond, how to be in the world, how to make decisions. Um, and coming to the Balanced View training, it was amazing to be given this simple information and to be given the tools by which I could apply this information of seeing that I really did have a choice in how I responded to the contents of my mind, of my experience. Um, and so that in itself was quite remarkable. And it really was, first of all, through this practice of short moments, just short moments of stopping describing. And it was so powerful to apply this simple instruction in my everyday experience because I saw that throughout the whole of my life all I'd been doing was describing. Describing, 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 thinking, thinking, thinking. And everything that I believed was based on these descriptions. Absolutely everything from um, physical pain to um, myself and my relationship with anger and what anger meant um, to my past history um, to things like regret and everything was just based on all of these descriptions and so to be given a suggestion that just for a short moment an instant I could stop describing I could just stop describing and relax and allow all of those descriptions just to flow on by this for me was absolutely radical and completely fascinating because I'd never done that before in my life. And you can try that right now. You know, there may be various thoughts and emotions and descriptions going on, but just relax for an instant and allow them to be just as they are. Without needing to do anything with them, without efforting to get rid of some that you don't like or try and manufacture some more positive experiences, just allow them to be exactly as they are. And in that moment of just complete relaxed openness, there is immediate relief. There's immediate relief from having to try to understand everything that's going on. The, there is immediate relief from the effort of trying to make my experience look the way that I think it should look the ideas that I had learned about the descriptions that I should be having. So my descriptions should be positive. They shouldn't be negative. And to apply this practice of short moments with whatever you're experiencing is where you will discover the stability and the openness and the power to be of great benefit. Now that's definitely not something that I was uh, taught growing up. I was taught with anger that it was something that I shouldn't be experiencing or if it was something that I was experiencing then I needed to work out who was to blame for my anger. Um, and that's the way that I live my life and I went around blaming people, places and things for these surges of energy and I could see on some level how ridiculous this was when one morning I woke up and um, went to make my cup of tea in the morning, I'm English, that's what we do, and um, the electric kettle didn't work. The electric kettle didn't work. <laughs> do you understand how furious that made me? It's bloody kettle's not working. So there's this rush of anger, you know, I mean it's... and. Um, and that set the tone for the, my whole morning. I was, f at, I was fuming. I can remember walking along the street and um, actually I'm thinking now of that, I think it's like Charlie Brown or someone where there's the, that, the little cloud that is just above the one character and walking along and there was this cloud above me and just sort of daring anyone to smile at me, you know, just this. And it was obviously, it was all due to this kettle. You know, I knew why the anger was there, I knew how justified I was, how I needed my cup of tea and and it all seemed to kind of make sense to me at the time, you know, it was... 
and to discover that I actually had a choice when those feelings of anger and frustration arose of either going with this way that I'd learned to use my intelligence of following after all of the descriptions of really believing that they had this power that they could inform the way that I related and could affect my well-being on a fundamental level to see that just in a short moment of stopping those descriptions that that just simply wasn't true it just wasn't true because the openness of perception the clarity of intelligence that just saw everything as it was and experienced everything this open intelligence was always completely wide open and clear regardless of the descriptions like the sky is always wide open and clear regardless of what's going on within it I had just been trained to focus in on the descriptions and to completely ignore the intelligence by which everything was known everything whether it was um, frustration and anger whether it was happiness and bliss whether it was regret about the past whether it was physical pain I had been focused in and trained on all of the descriptions and trying to make sense of the world from those descriptions and in a short moment of just relaxing that need to describe everything I saw that the basis of whatever I was experiencing in that instant was the same intelligence completely constant totally reliable and that I couldn't actually rely on the descriptions because they were always changing and to base my reality if you like on these descriptions meant I lived the life of a roller coaster and physical sensations are a perfect example because sometimes I'm fit and well and sometimes I'm not and basing my happiness if you like on physical descriptions just means I'm up and down and up and down and up and down and as I get older it's more down 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 and a little bit of up <laughs> and with physical descriptions my habit in focusing in on the descriptions about them um, so when I felt a pain in my stomach again looking for what's what's to blame for it was it the food that I ate last night was it some emotional thing that happened when I was a child that causes me to be tense in my stomach is that the kind of person that I am um, maybe it means I'm a bad person or just all of these stories around any physical sensation and just again to apply a short moment there and allow those descriptions to be as they are and recognize that all of those descriptions including the physical pain itself the sensation of physical pain were also contained and were the expression of the dynamic energy of the same open intelligence that experienced the anger the frustration the, reg the regret and everything else and so in these short moments what happens is that very immediately but then building in confidence through the repetition the focus shifts from only the descriptions that are always changing to the openness of intelligence that includes and contains all of the descriptions so that in itself gives a completely different perspective and context on everything that we're thinking feeling and sensing everything but I saw for myself that the habit of focusing in on the descriptions particularly around physical sensation and things like anger was so ingrained I've been doing it for so long for decades that it took the repetition of the short moment so with physical pain I'd be off in a story about how I mean it was just victimhood you know it was something would go wrong with my body and it'd be oh no this is just a disaster you know why has this happened to me it's, it's always me I hate being ill I, it's just a, you know it's ruining my day it's ruining my visit to India it's just it's just awful and it's just hold on why don't I just take a short moment and allow those descriptions to flow on by oh, actually I don't have to keep doing that to myself and then the physical pain would come back and it'd be there and I'm off on my story again and that was my habit of, and my way of dealing with this particular experience so you repeat the short moment 
using the descriptions, using those descriptions as reminders to return to a short moment of just stopping describing, of complete relaxation. And in that short moment of complete relaxation, everything is seen clearly. You, you see the physical pain for what it is. You see the stories around it and how the suffering and the difficulty and the struggle can just simply be relaxed. It, it settles out. And you repeat the short moment because again you're off on your story. But with some things, that story was something that I've been telling myself for so long. So there is a gentleness that's required and um, anger. I was so used to feeling this rush of energy, whether it was towards the kettle or towards my intimate partner or my family or friends or the country I was in or my work. You know, the anger could come up and I'd find somebody or something to blame it on. And that was what I'd been doing for so long. It seemed like I didn't have a choice. How, how do I have a choice when it's just so intense, this sensation? And so the training up in seeing that we do have a choice is what you will find in Balance View. In each short moment, you recognize that you do have that choice. But I saw for myself that in some of these experiences, I was so used to collapsing into the descriptions that I didn't see I had a choice. So through training up, through reading powerful texts that showed me in my own experience the brilliance of open intelligence, the all-pervasive nature of open intelligence, the inseparability of open intelligence from whatever I was experiencing, and allowed me to see that for myself, I could train this up the way that I would... Um, I'm, 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 I'm learning how to speak Hindi and it's exactly the same. You know, it's like just because I can speak one word of Hindi, my habit of not being able to speak Hindi is something that I can open out simply by practicing. I can read books that, um, you know, how to, how to learn Hindi. You know, I can study it, I can train up my capacity to speak a new language. And it's exactly the same with training up your capacity to rely on the openness of intelligence rather than all of the descriptions. And the more I train this up, the more that openness is seen to be always present. And when I do rely on it, what I see is that the purpose, if you like, of anger and of all data is my power to be of great benefit. That might be difficult to understand, but everybody here is familiar with this power of anger. You know, when you are angry, there is no getting away from the power that you feel. I just learned to label and describe it and react and respond to it in certain ways. When I allow it to be as it is, even for a short moment, and stop describing it, that same power is simply the raw expression of open intelligence. So that same power is then available for me to use in a way that will be of benefit rather than, a way that, rather than in a way that is reactive and is seeking to find some outlet for my stories and descriptions about blame and me being the victim to that. And it is so powerful to see that even with something like anger, I am not a victim to it anymore. And that has been of great benefit, not just to me, but to everybody in my life, including the kettles. <laughs> In any relationship, it's so powerful to keep it very simple and to keep the focus on myself and my data, i.e. my thoughts and emotions about that person, place or thing. Because the habit of um, feeling that something needs to change is one that we've been trained in very thoroughly. And as I gain more confidence in seeing that I can allow everything about me to be as it is. You know, I can allow my irritation, my frustration, my annoyance, my anger with other people to be as it is. Everything opens up. 
and I can see from that vantage skillfully how I can support people from a perspective of complete openness in a way that empowers them. It's a, a loving, kind responsiveness that can also be very direct and clear when that's what's required. But that clarity and that discernment only comes when I allow everything about myself to be as it is. And when I'm thinking about how to how to support someone, how to empower someone. All of that is this dynamic energy. It's this intent to be of benefit. But there's no clear seeing. By allowing all of that to be included within open intelligence, by allowing the descriptions to be as they are, there is that, that vantage. It's like going from being in a valley where all you see are, are walls of descriptions. In a short moment of stopping those descriptions, you're on top of the mountain and you see all of the valleys, you see all of the descriptions, but you're able to choose and to behave very skillfully in that circumstance. And that would include when people are um, speaking to you in a very strong way or even being angry towards you. Um, that can bring up an intense experience, an intense rush of data and to use that as an opportunity just to relax for a short moment. It's so powerful. And from there, you will see everything in that situation. What is playing out for yourself and what is playing out for the other person. But it is only by taking responsibility one short moment at a time. And, and this is the gentleness. It's just one short moment at a time. This is the way everything begins to open out really naturally and in your own experience. You know, that, that's what I saw for myself by testing this out. That openness, that, that wisdom, that clarity, that ease, that simply being comfortable with who I was became more and more my own experience. I, 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 I still can't believe it. I, I still can't believe that that is possible for me. Someone that used to go around smashing kettles and with a cloud over their head. A, I can't believe that I can become comfortable with anger. I can extract the power of anger. I can become comfortable with physical pain, even if it's just for a short moment. I can become comfortable with everything about me. And in that is, is the power to be of great benefit. This effortless, spontaneous expression, which is actually what the data are. The descriptions that I've learned about them are what cause the trouble and the emphasis on those through allowing them to be as they are, the actual nature of data is instinctively recognized. It's not something we need to avoid or indulge or, repla or replace. So if you see any learned habits around dealing with something like anger, apply the short moments there. If you find yourself avoiding the situation, relax and take a short moment there.